Hi guys, this is Pradeep. So today we will discuss about SAP certification process and uh, what is the need of SAP certification. So to understand this one in better way, let's take a couple of examples and let's go to the SAP website where uh, SAP is uh, they have given complete details about the certification. So as you know, there are two type of certifications are there. One is associate exam and another one is professional exam. So right now in front of your screen, if you see this one is the professional exam. So this certification like who, first of all, who is eligible for which exam? Who is eligible for associate certification and who is eligible for professional certification? SAP is saying that anyone can directly go for associate certification exam. If we will talk about finance and controlling. So there are two type of certifications are there. Two, in fact, two certifications are there, both in, in finance and one as controlling under associate. So that means if you are planning for associate certification, let's say uh, you have the knowledge. Now I will come to the preparation part, but before that, let's assume that you have the knowledge. Now you think like I will go for the SAP certification. First of all, is it really required to get the job for certification? Job point of view, nowhere SAP given any guarantee that if someone is certified, they are going to get the consulting job. So certification is not going to give you any job guarantee, but definitely you should go for certification. So when you will be certified, uh, it will help you to get the project because like client, they are thinking that if someone is certified, then our project in safe hand. So when the project will be assigned, so that time your employer is going to check whether you are certified or not. In fact, they will insist you should go for certification SAP certification and job point of view let's say 10 resumes are there and out of that three four members are certified so little bit extra advantage definitely it will be there as you are certified but particularly in India certification is not mandatory so even without certification also you may if you are very good in the hands-on or, or you are very good in the practical so you will also uh, you can get the job but still I think think you should go for certification if it is possible. Now you clear whether you will go for certification or not. Now coming to US, Europe, I will suggest definitely you should go for certification because their certification almost mandatory. So if you are looking for a SAP consulting job, so definitely your employer will look into uh, your certification, whether you are certified or not. Now in the SAP certification, as I said, there are two certifications. So one is your associate certification. Another one is the professional certification. So right now, uh, it, this is an example of your associate ex certification. So to whom you should go for certification? Let's say you are uh, you have you are just going to start your career in SAP consulting and to whom the associate certification certification is recommended like you have the knowledge and uh, you are going to start your consulting career so far you have not completed any implementation even if I will suggest if you have just completed one or two implementations still go for associate certification exam because if you go for associate certification exam you have to write two exams here so one will be a finance one will be finance and second one is your management accounting which we are saying controlling so under finance all the business process related to finance will be there and under controlling all business process related to management accounting will be there and uh, certification point of view what is the criteria like if you'll see here the passing criteria is in this this may vary different uh, exam to exam so right now it's showing that 63 percent passing mark and you will get 180 minutes means three hours and uh, the questions number of questions will be 80 questions so 80 questions you have to answer or uh, 80 question you will get in 180 minutes or in three hours and passing pr processes or passing percentage is 63 percent this is for accounting associate means it is fi and similarly if you go to uh, another page here it is for your management accounting so that means if you are going for associate exam you have to write two exams for both finance and controlling point of view or management accounting again here also you can say same 180 minutes you will get for controlling and 80 questions you will get and passing criteria here is 64 percent now let's see the contents so contents again uh, normally your finance business process content will be there like your GL your ARAP your asset 
and then organization structure your closing process now here uh, uh, like project and certification point of view difference is there when you are approaching the job or when you are going for interview that time your focus should be or employer the interviewer focus should be like how good you are in the hands-on point of view where certification is completely theory but that doesn't mean that you no need to worry about the hands-on or no need to require the hands-on knowledge because i am going to show you a couple of examples where hands-on is going to help Help you in the certification very soon i'm going to show you so uh, certification point of view sap is saying that particularly if you are going for associate certification exam if you have the business process knowledge and you can go for the associate certification for that no criteria no implementation nothing is required very straightforward questions will be there multiple choice questions will be there true false questions will be there and some questions you will get where multiple correct answers will be there around 20 to 22 questions you will get where multiple correct answers are there this these are little bit tricky multiple correct answer means for example let's say there is a question and for that question let's say five options are there a b c d e five options are there and here multiple correct answers are there sometimes you will get you will get a hints from sap that multiple correct answers are there or sometimes maybe that also you will not get now let's say correct answer is a b and d this is the combination correct answer let's say you have selected a b but wrongly you have selected here c now in this case your answer will be zero you are not going to get anything because it will be online exam so that is why if you are going to exactly tick a b and d which are the correct answer then only your answer will be counted as correct answer so these type of questions will create a little bit problem but luckily in associate exam you will not get much questions from this great criteria as i said as per my experience 20 to 22 number of questions you will get where multiple correct answers will be there but all questions you will get from the business process so if you are very good in the business process then you will get the questions right so here also pass percentages are there like number of questions you will get like you can see here more, more questions you can expect from gl you will get here receivable payable now receivable payable focus on only receivable payable that does not include your uh, logistic integration part so only theoretical knowledge is required so even if you never configured that one as per the SAP guidelines they are saying that uh, it is not required because it is part of logistic consultants but practically if you'll see if you are really configured in the system it will help you uh, to clear this exam why because for example you are doing some configuration let's say you are you have you never configured anything in the system only theoretical knowledge you have but when you will try to understand this process or when you will try to remember you have to put much more effort that to remember those things because you never configured these things in the system whereas if you have really configured in the system that means here practically understood the process you tested everything you configured everything you have seen all the business process you tried everything in the hands-on point of view so definitely you are not going to give that much uh, stress to remember the things because you practically you have experienced it so it is going to help you just one time reading or two time reading it is going to help you and these things i am not saying my own it is already trial tested i am going to show you some examples of the participants who cleared the ex exam and who have not clear the exam also right so this is how you are going to prepare for the associate exam and i will suggest definitely at least you should go for one exam even if like uh, if it is not possible for both the exams associate finance and controlling at least one exam you should plan and what what about the cost before cost let's go to, uh, check the professional exam so if you go to professional exam so this is the professional exam to whom this professional exam is designed if you already completed the associate exam then you can go for professional exam if or if you have let's say good number of experience in the implementation in that case also you, you can approach sap and uh, directly you can go for professional exam in case of professional exam it is a combination of both finance and controlling here there is no two separate exam will be finance separate and controlling separate one exam will be there both combination of finance and controlling and more questions here you will find from the project 
implementation scenarios. So that is why it is designed in such a way that if someone already completed associate certification exam, they should go for professional or let's say if you have a couple of implementation experience, then you should go for this one. And here, uh, like you can see exam, uh, same like 180 questions, uh, 180 minutes you will get 80 questions, passing percentage is 55. But again, it's not fixed. It, it may vary from exam to exam or time to time. Here also you will find uh, similar areas, but it is like combination of both finance will be there controlling will be there then uh, your uh, uh, you can say migration point of view also good number of questions will be there whereas in associate you will get more questions from the greenfield implementations so that is why they are more focused on the uh, migration they are more focused on the greenfield implementation or business process here more focused on the migration like companies who are moving from ECC to S4. So that type of questions you will get more and more practically oriented you will get the questions. So I will suggest if you have not implemented any project then like both in uh, maybe sandbox or maybe real implementation then don't go for professional exam. It may create problem for you because here you will find very good number of questions multiple correct answer questions will be high. So practical scenarios will be there. So that is why it is always advisable. You should go for first associate exam, then go for professional exam. Or if you have real implementation experience, then go for professional exam. Now coming to uh, cost point of view. So cost point of view, if you'll see there are two options are there. You can see here uh, it is uh, in USD. So you can convert into your currencies. So here two options are there one attempt you can you can pay for one attempt like let's take this example so it is associate one and you can pay only for these attempts that means only for finance associate certification you can pay this much so one attempts if you have successfully cleared it it good otherwise your money forfeited so it's gone second option you can go for this option so here you are going to get six attempts and one year validity so within one year, you may complete six. Uh, uh, you may complete all the certifications. If it is possible, I will suggest go for this option. If you'll plan perfectly, you can complete three exams within one year. In fact, if new version will come there also, you can. You, if you have some attempts that left, that also you can utilize here. Let's say uh, you ha you have uh, you are going to start with associate exam and. Uh, let's say for example you have uh, registered with six attempts and the required fees you paid and uh, here you've started with fi certification completed then after like one month maybe co certification completed then after that by this time let's say you are in the job or you got the job you have completed at least one migration project or let's say from the sandbox you practice everything and then you can go for after let's say two months or three months because you have one year validity is there so you can go for the professional exam so with one time fee you can you can clear all three certifications on if even if one attempt is not cleared still you have uh, like attempts are there but again definitely the cost is high here if it is possible you can go for this associate one and uh, then otherwise uh, uh, you can go for directly for one attempt again it is your choice so I already explained how to approach SAP certification like SAP and always SAP certification when you are planning it will be always SAP global certification any institute certificate if it is just a paper uh, like piece of paper there is no validity no one is going to ask like you have let's say you have a certificate from institute X it's just it's nothing it's nothing like no one is going to ask that certification so when you will be global certified you are going to have your certification number which you can put it in your resume and that is accepted globally because SAP awarded this certificate but if you got a certificate from XYZ those institutes it's having this certification or you don't have that, that certification both are same because no one is going to ask this type of certification so when we are talking about someone certified consultant or we are certified consultant that means I am certified for this particular product and this certification is conducted exam is conducted by SAP and we are cleared that exam so that's why we are certified consultant so I hope you it is clear now what is the meaning of certification and who is the authorized body to conduct the exam so only SAP is authorized to 
conduct this exam and SAP, is, SAP AG th that original company is going to give that uh, certificate to you no any other subsidiaries there is nothing there are some different partners are there through these partners you may approach to them and you can take the exam but nowadays cloud certification is available if from your home also you can take the certification but that is different thing how you are going to take the exam but certification always from the SAP only okay so i already explained how important sap certification now coming to how to prepare for the certification there are so many books are available in like sap press books are there or let's say some different authors are also publishing certain um, their uh, sap books sap materials okay so like i have prepared so many sap materials but to clear the sap certification you have to only read those sap materials because 100 percent questions you will get from the sap certification material no other material is authenticated or not authorized to give you that particular content so only sap material you have to read so from where you will purchase this one so you may purchase it from sap you may purchase it from authorized vendors so from different sources you can purchase this sap materials but you have to only read those sap materials which are tiffin series is there earlier it was there in ecc now it is also there now how i will know which book i need to refer so i am planning that i will go for fi certification and for this fi certification uh, i decided that i will go for associate certification so for this which book i need to refer no need to worry already it is given in the sap material so from there you will get it so if you go to the let's say you are planning for sap certification exam and that to associate so here if you'll expand it you can see here the it's already given that you need to read this book ts4 f01 so again in ts4 f01 series are there part one part two so these books you need to refer or you may read these books so this is a complete book this is a topic wise books so f12 includes your uh, gl uh, business process related to arap so uh, 13 is there so like individual uh, material you can purchase because topic wise if you are uh, you are going to read but i will suggest to take this one so you purchase this book and uh, ts4 f01 and f2 that is for related to finance and f02 1 and 2 also related to finance so in every topic you will find that which book we need to refer for this particular suppose let's say asset accounting so if we'll check here again you can see ts4 f02 part one part two is there so it is not for only asset accounting other topics are also there so if you expand this site so you will find that these books are recommended by sap and and it's not recommended these books are prepared by sap only so you have to read these books now if someone already experienced these books you must be scared that these books are so many pages like if you'll count all these books right so ts4 ts4 f01 two books f02 two books this is for finance and f03 two books f04 two books okay so where i will get it if we'll go to three four related to management accounting so if you'll we'll go to here you will find those books okay for example broadcasting so where i will get it i will get it from f03 i want to go for the cost center accounting so it is there in the f03 so part one part two that you need to check okay profitability analysis so it is there in F04. So if we'll combine all these books, starting from 101 uh, till 4, so you will find that it is more than 1000 pages, almost or more than that. So how to handle those books? So you will find those books are bulky, but no need to worry. You have to plan your certification. So certification point of view, uh, what SAP expecting that someone should be very confident on each business process or a particular topic what you are approaching for example asset accounting so asset accounting jo, jo, just like overall don't if you have a knowledge of overall overall and then you will go for exam chances are that you will get failed so that is why a very good command on asset accounting it is required now two choices there like you don't do any hands-on but you are very like confident you can mug up the things you can learn uh, things you can remember those th things you can read line by line books and you can clear the certification i have seen people that they never touch the system but they scored the certification in very well but, but that is very rare second approach is do the all the configurations test it do practical experience do the hands-on then go for certification then go read these books so when you will read the books they are don't give like take the choice like which one i will read which one i will not read so at least one time read all these books which because by this time you have completed your configuration so very fast you can cover it first time you have to read everything 
second time and while you are reading second time you prepare your own notes what while reading first time maybe you will not able to understand everything so second time you prepare your own notes if you have checked my testimonials videos or my like the students who got the job there you will find that so many people they have said that we have prepared our own notes although i shared them the configuration document or or my uh, content everything but still they have prepared their own content because always own hand, handwriting notes or own prepared notes are easy to grasp so that is why i will suggest first time when you have completed the books then you prepare your own notes third time when you will approach exam or when we prepare for your exam only read those your own hand notes that will help you to cover very fastly and easy to remember so at least i am expecting that first time you are going to complete those sap materials end to end second and third time your notes so in this way you can effectively manage your time and managing because again and again if you are going to read those books it is very difficult to complete those books every exam because these are the bulky documents and the approximately you can say 1200 1300 pages will be there so that is very difficult second one is i already explained my second point would be like hands on is very important because i have seen that people who are never tried in the system and then after that they are doing the preparation it is very difficult because it is simple without knowing the logic without configure anything in the system you are trying to remember certain things although in the certification you will get the questions theoretically because all the theory questions will be there but theory is what theory is practical implementation of or a, uh, like something you know that you are going to express yourself in a form of question and answer so same is applicable on interview also so if you know the things practically confidently and then if you will try these things or you will re re read the concept then it is easy for you so hands on is also very important for as for me again if you, maybe you are exception without any conf uh, configuration knowledge without any hands on knowledge you may try this um, um, remembering the theories but it may create problem so normal approach is first configure each and every business process then prepare for the certification or then approach for the certification mock exams so mock exams are very very also essential because what happen like we know lot of things but when we are doing the time management it is very difficult because you are going to get 180 minutes so how 80 questions 180 minutes seems like we have so much time but when you will go through the questions you will find all questions are having similar answer like five answers are almost similar so that time it will time management is very important and, and your uh, preparation your practice is very very important so that is why lot of like websites are uh, conducting mock exams so every institute also they are conducting their mock exam so do you definitely you try those mock exams so if you are so confident in your mock exams so it will help you in the certification also okay so mock exams definitely you try and here i will uh, i will highlight one point i i have seen so many ads like people are sending dumps sap dumps that is nothing called sap dumps sap never release any sap dumps sap dumps nothing but some let's say i am individual as per me even i am also conducting mock exams so those are my suggested questions i am i am assuming that like this is a set of questions i prepared and questions will come from this one so if someone is saying that you take this dump take only this 80 questions and questions will be come then it's always finger crossed i am not sure how much what is the pass percentage from the dump so that is why don't rely on dump because not, nothing officially release as sap dumps so sap dump nothing called sap dump so it is prepared by some xyz right so it is they are suggested only so when you may take those questions you may practice those questions but only don't take that 80 questions are there 100 questions are there and you are going to get only all the questions from this 100 questions it is not true so you try as many as mock test as much as much theory uh, as much questions you you may try it is going to help you so mock test is very very essential so write as many as mock test wherever you are going to get any websites or any paid services are available different websites are giving paid services so take the mock test it is going to help you now i am going to show you whatever i have explained to for that some some of our participants like recently they have cleared so they i am going to show their uh, it is already there in our website but for your presentation point of view i have extracted those data now you will get the idea like how why the configuration knowledge or the practical knowledge is helpful so i am going to show you some slides you will get some idea from this okay so here 
like you can see some people they have achieved their success preparation and all are these are our uh, uh, from the training so you can see here like i'm not highlighting that they cleared and all these things try to get my point like you can see th these people i know they have configured everything because they are they are in our live batches so they have completed the configuration they have conduct they have attempted all our mock test they uh, I, I know their score in the mock test because when mock test you are you are evaluating your scores continuously you know like what area you are not good which area you have to give more focus so these are uh, the things are there okay so some right so you can see and it is there in our website also you can check here so this is all there but only it's not like good things are there there are also some bad experience are there i am going to show you another uh, next ppt so this person is not doing hands on okay or not maybe that one because that like he was uh, referring videos and uh, but again in the beginning also you can see one person was there he was not there live batches but he was following my videos from the youtube right you can see that i he was my videos but definitely that person definitely tried in the system configured everything and then got the success so that's why always whether you are going for interview certification whatever configuration knowledge or system knowledge is very very essential hands-on knowledge is very essential when it is uh, because it's IT so without any practical implementation theory is meaningless now coming to the last slide which is uh, specifically I'm going to highlight here now unfortunately this participant or this version uh, like this not clear this exam right and you can see here the higher the like questions are mostly from practical scenarios okay so now whatever I said now you can justify you can get the link here so if you are not going to configure everything then this type of situation will be there I'm sure that that someone is going to clear it maybe in second attempt they're going to, going to clear it but why second attempt why not first attempt so if you will prepare well and you will pro properly you will uh, prepare and you will go to the exam or you will take the exam then definitely the success will be there so only thing is nothing it's not rocket science it's a very simple things ERP IT software only thing is that how you are preparing and how you will take the exam I hope it is clear now as I got this information from different sources so I thought I will share with you so anyone is preparing for the exam so it will help you so if you have any such experience or anything you want to share anything maybe you can add in the comments I will address those questions or uh, those any uh, your any comments or any questions are there thank you very much for watching the video because till now if you are watching that means you are following this video so it's really honor to me if uh, as you are uh, following my videos continuously i'm getting continuous comments anything and i'm trying to uh, reply those videos or any any problem you have feel free to you have my mail id mail me or uh, add in the comments so every comments i'm personally reading all these comments and i'm uh, i'm i will try to address those in any different videos and uh, so that it will help in our community thank you very much